Come on, you. Big cake today. I'm meeting Sheldon. He's a bodyguard. Apparently, he wants to make a cake for a big day, and I've gotta help him. Excuse me, I'm not done. My name is Sheldon Taylor Timothy. I'm here because I had a really big cake disaster and I'm hoping to redeem myself. I want to hear what went wrong. I was doing a, a show not too long ago. Um, this was like a competition on television. It was, a, yeah, it was a television competition. The challenge was I had to create a Halloween themed cake. I didn't even know what it was when I was done. Boy, oh boy, do I feel bad. I really feel for Sheldon. I'm sorry, but she's ugly. Uh-huh. I was eliminated. I was kicked off the show. It wasn't good enough to keep going. Okay, so we're gonna make a cake today, and I've heard that you have a big celebration. Um, my wedding? Oh, like the big J. That's, okay. that's gonna be next year. I'm engaged. My fiance's name is Andrea. We love baking together, so we're planning on making our own wedding cake. Maybe we should practice and we should make a wedding cake. What? Oh! <laughs> Are you ready? Wow! I think we should make a wedding cake. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. So Sheldon, we're not just making a wedding cake. You're gonna make an upside down wedding cake. Excuse me? This right? will I be wanna more give you difficult. a challenge. These cakes here, they're banana, which is my favorite. My favorite too. Fiance's favorite also. This is perfect. Who doesn't love banana flavor cake? Uh, these cakes are gonna be two of the tiers in your wedding cake. Okay. There'll be four in total, but the other two will be dummies, okay? Okay, okay. So normally what I've been doing is doing a, a quick demonstration of how I do things and then, you know, letting the other person do it, but I feel like you don't need a demo. You've been on cake decorating competition shows. I mean, you must know how to level. Sure. I can level a cake. I don't level like you, but we'll, 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 we'll try it, okay. Okay. Yes, using the middle of the blade and I didn't even tell you, <laughs> see? You're the only person I haven't told to clean up <laughs> while working. I introduced Sheldon to Sir Squeeze. He simple syrup the cakes. I can already tell that Sheldon has experience just by what I've seen so far. All right. Okay. So it's time to fill and stack your cake. All right. Tell me how you fill a cake. What I usually do is I usually put uh, the buttercream in a piping bag. Okay. But I find when I'm filling and stacking just straight up round cakes or square cakes, it's just easier to dollop and spread. And that's what you're. <laughs> <laughs> little bowl beside you is just in case you should happen to create some crumbly buttercream. Okay. I'd like to go a day without dredging. No pressure. Do you always crumb coat? Always crumb coat. That's the right answer. <laughs> I think I need some champagne. This is a celebration because today was the first day I did not have to witness dredging in this ah. kitchen. <laughs> Woo! Finally. So now you can carefully lift this cake onto this board and align it. Okay. So now it's time to ice the cake. Okay. What people don't realize is a lot of the time when you see an extravagant, elaborate cake in a cake magazine that some celebrity had, that doesn't mean it's all cake. Often, there are cake dummies inside. The tricky thing about cake dummies is if half your cake is gonna be dummies and half your cake is real cake, you still want them all to look the same from the outside. You see how like straight mm -hmm. the dummy is? So before I use a bench scraper, I always make sure the icing on the sides does come up over the top. Okay. Because I can always scrape that excess onto the top, but when it's lower, I find, you end up with a soft corner. Dummies are cut perfectly, so you need to ice your cakes perfectly. those things I could ice a cake forever and never feel like it's smooth enough it's like marriage you gotta know when to back away <laughs> right cake teaches then life come lessons back. You, you see what I'm saying 
As you know, Sheldon, you're building an upside down wedding cake. So two of the tiers are dummies and two will be the cakes that you ice so perfectly. The bottom tier will be the smallest dummy. And this will be on the top. So this cake has a board underneath, as mm -hmm. you know, but now we've got to work the same size board on top. And before we add this board, we need to dowel this cake. That way, when these cakes are in between the dummies, they're supported. So you've doweled the cake before. Yep. Okay. Cut side down, cut side up. I like matter. cut side down. Okay. People don't ask that, and they should. The bigger that you go with cakes, the more error that there is for things to go wrong. So being perfect at the base makes the next perfect, makes the next perfect. Whereas if you're off a little bit, the bigger you go, the errors just can be compounded and make it so much worse. So being more precise is going to benefit me in the long run as I continue to grow and become a better baker. Dummy. Oh. I can't tell. <laughs> Let's prepare the dummies. There's not much to do. We just want to secure them to a cake board. I like to use tape. And these two, which is your top tier, I want them to be a double barrel so we can glue them together with hot glue. Okay. Okay. Now it's time for fondant. Okay. We're not draping fondant, shall we? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, in great Yolanda fashion, she flips the script on me and says, we are actually going to wrap the cakes individually. And that's just a whole nother story. When you're draping a cake, you put it over the top, it lays, and you smooth it on. With this, you actually have to roll it on and you're not done yet because you still have a separate piece that you have to cut out for the top too. I've done it once before, didn't work out, ended up pulling it off and draping it anyways. But I'm gonna conquer it and I'm gonna do it this time. We need to need the fondant. I'm sure you know how to knead this. Yes. I liked the way you were kneading, it's correct. But I also like to have the fondant in the shape I generally want to get it in. So in this case, we're trying to roll out like a long band. Do you like icing sugar or corn syrup? Icing sugar. Oh, me too. So now we can start to roll, always keeping that measurement in mind. This is the ultra fun part. But what I like to do... <laughs> Are you okay? You look like you completely don't trust me. I don't like this technique because of the difficulty, but to try it and to learn how to do it now is, is great. Who, who better else to teach you than Yolanda? If something happens and I start to cry, you guys cut, okay? And Thank there'll be you a lot of footage of you saying cut. <laughs> Next, you just use a French rolling pin and roll up your fondant on the rolling pin, and then you carefully pick it up and unravel it around the cake. You have to work quickly because the more you hesitate and hold it in your hand and squeeze it onto the rolling pin, the fondant can stick to itself. And that's happening to Sheldon now. Sheldon, I, I can't help you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm ready to call cut. I'm going home. I'm going to drape my cakes. Okay, so you have to rip it off fast. It's like a band -aid. Somebody that you look up to, you want to impress them. You want to do well in front of them. I just want to, I want to impress. I had Sheldon touch up the buttercream on this cake. I'm gonna pop it back in the fridge and have him work on the other two cakes before he recovers this one. So I just like to brush my dummy with clear piping gel. All right, but same rules apply. Okay. You do it, you're gonna do it. Yes! Unraveling, yes, okay. Okay, so this doesn't need to go in the fridge. I will put it aside. And in the meantime, you can prepare. Oh. <laughs> she babbled that one. Yeah. The first cake doesn't work. The second one is a little bit better. The third one is even better. And by the time I finish with the fondant on the last cake, it, it looks sharp. It looks great. We did it. Did it. Did now it. escort this cake to the fridge. All right, Sheldon, I'm going to teach you how to trim the top of the fondant and then how to cover the top, which All is right. much simpler than covering the side. And we're just going to roll the fondant for the top. 
This time I like to tuck all the seams underneath like that. And I still like to press it out. And I'm sure you know this, but when I want to roll a circle, I just try to roll in all directions to keep it round. So I'm just gonna cut, it's not a perfect circle. And now I can carefully place this on top. And if you see any drooping, you can just hold it and trim some away closer to the cake to prevent that drooping. And now we chill this. We're gonna do something I love doing on my channel. We're gonna flip the cake. So we put a board on top, okay? We hold it nice and secure. And then what I need to do is remove this board. And the reason I like flipping is we need to trim this and we'll get a cleaner trim if we can see what we're trimming as opposed to just aiming our knife down. So the same way you trim the bottom of the excess fondant, you can do the same here. It's time to flip out. Just flip fast, hand on the bottom. Uh, okay. Hand on the top. Ready? Three, two, what? So normally, with a proper tiered cake, you never see the bottom of the cake. It's always sitting on a tier that's bigger than it is. But that's not true this time. So <laughs> you also need to roll fondant to cover this side of the cake. You look ecstatic, Shelly. <laughs> Calm down. I just don't get that excited. All right, I'm ready to do the whole process again. over again. <laughs> One, <laughs> two. What's going on? Legitimately, I feel like I was rolling fondant collectively for over two hours, maybe. Maybe even more. It's wonderful. Crisp. You completed the cakes like a champion. Thank you. But Thank now you. they need some decorations, I feel. Right. You're a cake okay. decorator, right? Yes. So let's knead this into a long rectangle because you want to roll it the length of this board okay. and as thin as you can. Get it. Okay. So I'm rolling fondant, and I'm still rolling fondant. And eventually, I roll some more fondant. And finally, I roll more fondant. All right, I think we can put the rolling pin away. Is this another? It's not a trick. Okay. All right. Oh boy, did I bring you something special. Yolanda has measuring tools all over this place. She brought out a meter stick. Who has those anymore? So I would like you to cut quarter inch strips of fondant. Uh, let me get your other colors for you. You can cut some flowers from this. These are plunger cutters, which I love. You can just cut. I always do a shimmy. And then you just... My thought is he'll use the flower cutter to cut flowers out of the purple fondant, the piping tips to cut circles out of the orange fondant, and they will become the centers of the flower. And then finally, the leaf cutters on the teal fondant, the same teal he used to cut the bands. Andrea is going to love these colors. These are all of her favorite colors, all on one cake. The first thing we're going to do is add the beautiful bands right. that you cut out on the top and bottom of each tier, and then we're gonna assemble the cake. To make this cake look even more modern and clean, I want to really set the stage for the design on each tier by framing each tier with a band of fondant. I think it's really simple and always looks good. What's wrong? The board is stuck. Continue. Now you get to assemble your upside down This cake. is the nerve wracking part. This is the moment. So you can spread a little royal icing and just make sure to keep it within where the cake will sit. And then you can carefully, okay. The top tier that's the biggest tier and a dummy, we're not gonna add that right now. And the reason is, well, it won't fit in this fridge, <laughs> which is something a home baker always yes. has to take note of. So let's, let's do this. Ooh. You know what you've gotta do next, right, Chuck? One down, one to go. Wow. 
I feel accomplished. Hold on guys, we're gonna pause with Sheldon right there. And I know, I know, this is amazing. Everybody wants to watch the cake decorating. But before you get to that step, you have to start with the basics of baking. I mean, this cake all started with a delicious banana cake. And when you're building a cake, that's the most important. The recipes for your cake, the recipes for your filling, making sure you're simple syruping, these steps are crucial. That's how you end up where Sheldon is right now. I created a free course that teaches you all these essentials. In this course, you'll learn it all, broken down week by week so that you will become an amazing baker. Click the link in the description below. You're gonna cut a dowel to this height from this very long dowel, and you're gonna sharpen one end, and the reason is it makes it easier to, to hammer all the way down, and you also wanna get it through the base board okay. of the cake. You're there. This is your wedding cake. You're presenting this to your fiance, so it's gotta come from your mm -hmm. heart, your hands. Just think about how you want the pattern to lie. The vision that I have is for a big cascading of flowers going from the bottom of the cake to the top of the cake. I take some of Yolanda's advice and I start to scatter them instead of starting from the bottom and just going to the top. And I actually like the way that that looks better. So I think we should frame the top. I made Sheldon a template. It's his initial, his fiance's initial. I think this is a great way to personalize the cake. Sheldon! It's official, you're getting married. I'm getting married. We're gonna leave this cake unassembled, at least the top tier, and I'll bring along a toolkit. Sheldon can finish it at his place before he reveals it to everyone. By the way, guys, my YouTube show is now available in Spanish. Hola, Jocelyn. Hola, Yolanda. ¿Cómo están, chicos? Quédense en casa. Me pregunto cómo entró a mi computadora. Isn't that cool? I think it's really cool because a lot of people assume like I look like I speak Spanish, but I don't. But now I do. So if you want to send an episode to your abuela so she can understand it, now you can. Click the link below. Okay, Sheldon, we're here. Your family's waiting upstairs. But before you reveal this beautiful cake to them, we should put it together. All right. Is this special if you want to? Tell me if you need me to pull it out. You did it, and it's upside down. Great. Okay. When Andrea sees this cake, she's gonna have a big smile on her face, and then she's gonna stuff her face. Don't put, don't put that in. Don't put that in. <laughs> Oh, oh man, so now bad. you guys are 100% gonna put it in. All right, guys. Oh, wow. Wow. This is amazing. Amazing. Oh, 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 my God. goodness. So oh, clean. <laughs> <laughs> this whole day was a lot. It took a lot out of me. I'm ready to take the things that I just did and I just learned and apply them to the next cake that I do. I can go home and try some of these things right now, work on them, perfect them, and maybe one day be as good as Leolanda is. I know. Can you leave some for me? No, you can have your own piece. Sheldon, you rocked today. You were such a hard worker, and you just really progressed. I'm so proud of you. You should've used this cake on the show. You probably would've won. <laughs> I think you should go out and apply for every cake decorating contest there is. Show them how it's done. And I hope you have the best wedding day. Your wedding cake is gonna rock. Hello? What? I'll, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. I'm coming. Sheldon, I have cakes to save. <laughs>